everyone, I'm going to teach you an easy way to learn the days of creation. God created everything in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. So on day one, God created light and darkness. So you're going to hold up one finger, and this is going to pretend to be your candle with its light. And then you're going to blow it out, and it'll be darkness. So on day one, God created light and darkness. On day two, God divided the waters, and he created the skies and the oceans. So you're going to make scissors with your two, and you're going to pretend, and you're going to divide and cut the waters. And then you're going to circle around and make the sky, and then you're going to go down and make waves like the ocean. So on day two, God divided the waters, and he created the skies and the oceans. On day three, God created dry land and plants. So you're going to make dry land with one hand, and then with your other hand, it's going to sprout up and make a plant. So on day three, God created the dry land and plants. On day four, God created the sun, moon, and stars. So you're going to hold up your four, and you're going to close it and make your sun. And then if you open it, you have your crescent moon, and then you can move your fingers and twinkle them like the stars. So, on day four, God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. On day five, God created the birds and the fish. So, you're going to take your five fingers, and you're going to make your bird, and then you're going to make your fish that are swimming in the ocean. So, on day five, God created the birds and the fish. On day six, God created man and land animals. So you're going to have your six fingers. This one over here is going to be your man. And then this one you can turn into a land animal and you can run around your man or you can make any type of animal that you want. So on day six, God created man and land animals. And then on day seven, God rested. So on day seven, God rested. So we're going to grab our pillow and take a nap. All right, so I'm going to go over that one more time so we can make sure we have it all. So on day one, God created light and darkness. On day two, God divided the waters and created the skies and the oceans. On day three, God created dry land and plants. On day four, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. On day five, God created the birds and the fish, and on day six, God created man and land animals, and on day seven, he rested. All right, I hope this helps. Have fun learning the days of creation.